Can we get your attention? Uh, we're part of a motorcycle ministry called the Black Sheep Harley Davidson's for Christ. And we have three new members that are about ready to come in. They've gone through a mentoring process, and uh, this is our president, Mo, and he's going to explain everything about what we're going to do, and then we're going to anoint him with oil and pray for him, and then we're going to have a piece for everyone. Okay, so. Sister, could you please cover my food? Well, that means my brothers and sisters. Welcome up here. I couldn't think of a better place to do this patch ceremony. Now, in the biker community that we represent, that is our mission to bring Jesus to those who ride motorcycles. We are called to do that. But the love and, and the Holy Spirit that was within you all, I can not think of a better place than that, to have a place to do that, to show you what we do, to tell you. I know we've had some uh, patch ceremonies before here on there where it started. We, we started 21 years ago in 1999 on there down south. I can't even pronounce the word. Temecula. Thank you very much. <laughs> on there. And that's where it started. It was a pastor of his church. It was the Lamb Fellowship on there. Henceforth, maybe the theme were black sheep. Well, where did black sheep come from? The name. And as you know, the, the, the black sheep does kind of have a meaning and have said, you know, I'm the black sheep in my family. I was the black sheep of the family. On there. Even though I was the eldest child up here, my brother and sister, they excelled very well in athletics and went off to college and all that. Uh, I did not excel very well on that, so we kind of refer to me as the black sheep of the family. More than that. But that's where it came. What well, happened is the, the pastor and there was the men who rode in with them up there. There were some uh, the nice, gracious, older women of the church on there. And they saw them all pulling in, just like we do. And they were sitting by the door and one commented, well, here come the black sheep of the church. <laughs> because we are somewhat a little different. And so the name stuck. Just a little bit. Yes. But we have been fortunate in that area. We have now with the three that makes uh, we have fifteen new mem fifteen members in our group here. And what we do is we could disciple again those that ride motorcycles. Within a lot of the communities they have uh, you'll see Harley Davidson shops there and not all hardy shapers have writing groups what they call hog which basically are uh, motorcycle club but we are part of the hog club and so we minister to them as part of our deal in the world there's probably 2.5 million hog members on there so it's a pretty good chunk of people out there that we do what's kind of nice about that ministry up there unlike some of the ministries where you just have you meet somebody one-on-one -on -one for the first time on there what's great about our fellowship is that we develop relationships with these people on there. And that's kind of the blessing of it because they know who we are they see us on a regular basis and after a while then they know who we represent and so then they come and talk to us and ask us questions or ask for prayer so that's how it all kind of starts within our ministry. So today we are fortunate. We have Mark. Mark? Mark? Sola up there. He's from Lompoc up there. And then we have Corey and Tanya <laughs> from your church on there. And so. They have gone through a process, a mentoring process. Now I'll tell you some years ago when they first started the Black Sheep, it's kind of the organization and they kind of have the thought process for that. But, and there's a lot of people who profess to be Christians and they ride motorcycles. And so they've said, well, yeah, that looks like a nifty patch to have on there. But over a period of 
time they found that maybe that wasn't the best idea on there. They have to have a, the spirit within them calling them to do this on there. We want to make sure that to be missionaries, you need the spirit within you to go out. And we have a mentoring program that they went through to make sure they understand what is this job that they want to do and then make sure that the Holy Spirit is behind them in this. So now they are up here. What we will do here
relationships with them, now they're believers. So um, what we want to do is anoint them with oil, set them yes, apart. Yes, set them apart. We have our brothers and sisters in, on Black Sheep. Come, we'll lay hands on them, and then we'll pray. Okay. So we're like you three together here. and yeah. see our king and so now is the time when our ministry can really flourish Amen. Amen. So, Amen. the Bible says the lay hands and set them apart that's what we're going to do so father with all of us together your word says where there are two or three of us gathered together in your name you are here in our midst and if any two of us agree is touching anything upon this say for many many years uh, but now I'm I try more than ever walking more and more in, in the line that I need to be walking in the name of the Lord but I want to take the opportunity to say thank you for having us here today
you get pictures of Kate. Well, I hope you left a little up there. Start cutting and help yourself. Thank you again.